Hawaii, the channel, and it's Saturday with no paper, so we got to substitute paper from yesterday. But first, oh, <laughs> lots going on in the news. We must do. Got to do time limit. I swear to God, got to do time limit. So, lots of stuff going on in the news. Um, I forgot what it was. Japan has a new outburst, but they're kind of kid back. But China has a rocket that's gonna come down. Actually, the second stage parts, it's like large things, like size of like a freaking bus. And it's gonna enter the atmosphere today. They say it's negligible. No way, one in a billion chances it's gonna happen either person there, Scooby. However, there is a chance. <laughs> That's the thing. Alright. I'm gonna look through this paper because we're gonna this time. Because it's Saturday. Do a little. Five hundred BC. Let's look at. Mr. Aesop. He's supposed to be ugly as sin. Maybe that's why he made all these stories. Little kitties. Little kitty story from 500 BC with a moral. What's this one say? The beekeeper. Oh boy. A thief found his way into an apiary when the beekeeper was away. And stole all the honey. <gasps> oh, man. When the keeper returned and found the hive empty, he was very much upset and stood staring at them for some time. Before long, the bees came back gathering from gathering honey and finding their hive overturned and the keeper standing by. They made for him with their stings. Holy... At this time, he fell into a passion and cried, You ungrateful scoundrels! You let the thief stole my honey and get off scot-free! And then you go and sting me! We've always taken such care of you! Now, close your eyes. And pleasant dreams. <laughs> These are not normal stories. The, the little moral to the story is when you, when you get hit, when you hit back, make sure you've got the right man. Wow. You ungrateful scoundrels. I didn't know 500 BC, you know, they had the word scot free, but, eh, you know poetic license when it comes to translations. Now, this is Boo's Paper. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. This is where we look what's inside the newspaper, but since it's online, we're going to have to do this. Ready? This is headlines. Okay. The this funny scrunchy faces were because I got a little glimpse at this. Oh, let's start this. Uh, Online magic, uh, online things. Okay, let's get it going on somewhere. 
Okay. Um. different malfunctioning areas going on trying to get good sound here it is it is fuel tank oh happy um, May 8th skip <laughs> to the, the date who cares what's the date what do we need that for fuel tank leak at Red Hill contained this is the one we were working on as far as like um Oh no, we shouldn't do it. They got this little political um, thing. Everyone's Democrat, pretty much. I mean, it's Hawaii. But so this Democrat thing, and then we'd go and protest. Not really protest, but go to those um, town hall type things and gather information and work with the border walls. This is Red Hill. This is an area. We have like gigantic, I mean, hundreds of thousands and millions of jet fuel and it's buried underground in these 20 20 tanks you could stick a lot of towers inside the tanks they're huge they're underground it's been it was a secret in world war ii but now these things are like 100 years old well 80 whatever 90 years old they've leaked before it can contaminate the whole water supply of oahu <laughs> and they're the navy the navy is like hey, hey ships away no we can't the Navy kind of, we'll just monitor it, expensive monitoring system, we're good. It leaked, a thousand gallons, holy crap. This is like big news, it's front page. And now that's gonna start a real ball rolling. Okay, now that I've wasted enough time with that, back in the day, back in the day, 1961, where things were just a little bit more modern than George Jetson. <laughs> Oh, Honolulu visitors, oh, look at them. check out the jungle gym aboard, oh, the Oriana over, oh, uh, it's on board an ocean liner, no wonder, I thought it's like, hey, look at it, man, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, future style, <laughs> all right, where do you go, the little helicopter on Mars went, like a birdie bird, and flew someplace else, because it's going to do something else, now, a lot of things flying left and right, and getting some, uh, good airtime meantime China's freaking rocket debris is gonna come down you know they could make it controlled descent they just don't bother it's just like whatever so when it comes down whatever that's gonna be a problem because they're doing a lot of rocket stuff Little charges, so they finally got them. They indicted them. Those the yeah, four friggin' ex officers. There's underground, uh, Red Hill, deep in the hills where Gollum once lived. <laughs> they got these tunnels in between the tanks and the baby seal because it's gonna be Mother's Day. They're gonna play that up for sure. Happy Mother's Day tomorrow, your mother. Mothers of Inventions. Mothers of Inventions. Mama, Mama. This is my last chance. <laughs> Phil Collins. Hey, Genesis is back as a group. Oh my God. Genesis. They're, you know, Lamb lays down on Broadway and all that. They're getting the back. They're going back together. That's like really cool. They have some bizarre, good stuff though. Song with their Duke concert. Hey, look. Look at the cartoon. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Uh, whatever your name is from whatever English accent place you come from. Why did the chicken cross the road? Beep, 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 beep. He's got his little super red charge. Joe cool. Right? Um, Biden agenda. Come on, man, get out of the road. It's Joe Manchin. That's the guy that's like, he's Democrat, but he's like, uh, I don't know. Maybe we should vote for that. So he's like blocking all this stuff, which is just hairline 50 50 for the voting. So this guy, uh, he just needs attention. That's right. He just needs attention. Okay, let's rip through this thing. Trump's still blocked on Facebook 100%. And oh, yeah, since we got shock bites, now it's going to be protection bill. We got to we gotta make a lot to protect the sharks. Otherwise, people got on them. You know why? Because big fisheries, they just like kill sharks. 
shark fin soup for everybody and they'll use that as an excuse oh look at the woman here who's protecting you guys and they're just like you don't want to you don't do the shark to extinction thing it's it's the jaws mentality i'm too scared i'll go back into the water I'm too scared Oh, uh, big, the big question for today is the big Q, big Q. Yes, Friday, big Q. Are you ready to go back into the theaters to watch movies? No, bed bugs. <laughs> uh, 7%, yes, already been back since pandemic. 22%, yes. Low risk, so want plan to learn to plan too soon. Tick tock, tick tock. 71%, no still skittish about indoor venues that's the thing guy knows i've been reading up indoor it's the stuff indoors the kind indoors 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 because it can get loom it's like exhaust of your mouth and exhaling <sighs> so if it is there it's potentially it's in that kind of and then with closed spaces obvious it's obvious that's why it's like bizarre they um oh saturday night live is gonna have elon musk pretty soon Tune in for Saturday Night Live for Zoom. Elon, man. If anything, the guy's bizarre. <laughs> On the sports. Yes. Uh, the U.S. Volleyball, they're doing good. It's like, they're big. Who's going to be the winner of every all the NCAA? <laughs> is it BYU or is it UH? It's like the big game. It all comes down to this. Oh no, what's wrong, my little chickadees? Oh, what's wrong? Look at this picture. Oh, 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 oh what's wrong? <laughs> the art of sticking the photos up. Good on you, photo journalist. He selected these two pictures. Each of them is a battle scream after a victory. So that's kind of more like Rebel Yell, instead of like, <laughs> something, yeah, my bed is wet, change my sheets. Ah, that more, oh, hey, baseball, this, that. Michael B. Jordan, who cares? No, I don't really. Uh, and here's like, long running science experiment emerges anew, where it like seeds planted in the ground. Well, they're not planted, they're just stored to see how long they can stay underground before they, you can still germinate. So some of these have been underground for 142 years. Let's pick a couple out, see if it still grows. So, I, I'm bored. Besides, I'm dead to see the results. 140 years, what the heck? Home's in a hurry. Uh, Chernobyl, they're gonna fix it up. Hey, they opened up Disneyland, why not Chernobyl? <laughs> and when TV, and then they got these meditation, these like totally, Here's the little trick that he broke in the... In the so it's gonna go from TV, it's gonna go from meditative to vegetative. <laughs> the park's opening up, why the heart got a hit. And John Lennon, uh, chilling out on his uh, two chairs made it into a couch, I guess. It's like, oh, how did, why did he make the plastic Ono band? Well, this, this is why. We got this, uh, and then there's a bunch of stuff that's like that stuff. Which I, I don't think I gotta go into because we're gonna, gonna get that bell pressure. We gotta get back to the letters of the editor. I'm sorry. Yeah, come on. 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 Come where is that? Here we go. Now, letters to the editor. Gosh, where's the time to just find that thing? Hurry. <sighs> Stop wasting money on rail project. This old obsolete steel on steel rail technology will bleed out taxpayers and my children and grandchildren to death it is time to stop it where it is it is now do not fund any more construction perhaps remove the old rusty tracks and put buses on it <laughs> that's an idea creating high occupancy rail transit lanes just as 
as just as good as an express lane to downtown. So, like, tollway, freeway? The city has no money to support the obsolete rail. Why does the rail have to go to Alamana Center? Do you shop? Are you do you go shopping every day? The riders will still need to transfer to another bus wherever they need to go. Furthermore, we need to have more important problem in the Honolulu statewide: the homeless issue. Ronald Louis McCully Moili Ely. Oh, uh, so what? That's not come on. That's all you got. Lots of evidence of systemic racism. Bob Lamborn clearly does not see that systemic racism abounds in this country. Side article April 23rd. Perhaps we don't see the blatant racism with fire hoses, dogs, and batons beatdowns being unleashed on demonstrators during the civil rights movement. But I would argue that the heavy handedness of the mainland's demonstrators for Black Lives Matter often has been tragic. Compared to the hashtag BLM demonstrators to a mostly white Trump slash MAGA riot when our nation's capital was almost overrun on January 6th, where was the National Guard then? Systemic racism is often about who gets the greatest say in this country. So consider the fact that the richest Americans, members of Congress, governors, media executives, full-time college professors, and owners of professional football teams are mostly white. We are lucky to live in Hawaii, where I believe there is a lot more people of color representation than on the mainland. And a huge shout out to U.S. Senator Maisie Hirona, who led the bipartisan effort to pass an anti-Asian hate bill. Penny E. Nakamura, Holly Eva, aboard the good ship, <laughs> Sea Cucumber. It's a pirate ship now. We pay for Biden's free schools. Since when is spending $200 billion for free preschool and $200 billion for free community college actually free? The answer is that it isn't free. We, the taxpayers, are paying for all of these things. President Joe Biden has proposed about four trillion dollars for infrastructure and other plans and says it will be paid for by increasing taxes on corporations and wealthy individuals. These two sources are a pipe dream. Billionaires are billionaires because they take advantage of every tax loophole through scads of lawyers. You could tax them at a 90% tax rate and not come up with trillions. You, your children, and your grandchildren for generations and generations and generations and it'll never end forever and ever <laughs> are going to be paying for these grandiose ideas. Wake up! Nothing is free. Craig Myers, IAO. Is that, is that a woke call? I don't know. Wake up. Wake up. I don't know. You got a point there. You could tax it more and it still gets out of it. All my money's in China. <laughs> Chuffy Bear has accounts. All my mayor's off. All my money's offshore. It's not it. They got ways. They got shifty ways, bro. Crypto. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Not gonna go any farther with that before no more who can just got away with it. Hang loose, it's Saturday, Mother's Day tomorrow, remember? And um, I don't know, what do you go wrong? Just hang loose. Oh no! It's happening!
Thank <laughs> you.